adding another SSD drive to your computer is actually pretty straightforward and easy. The first thing you need to do is mount the SSD in your case. This of course depends on whether you have a laptop or a desktop computer and whether or not your case includes something like these trays where you literally slide the disc in there and they are plugged into your SATA and SATA power ports or if you just mount the drive and manually plug in your SATA cable and your SATA power ports. Now our drive is mounted in our computer and now we need to boot up and get into Windows and format the drive. And here we are in Windows 10. If we go to this PC, we don't see that new SSD drive that we uh, just connected, that 120 gig drive. So we need to actually format that so Windows can actually see it. So we'll come down here to start. If you don't have Control Panel pinned, we'll just go to Control Panel, just type in Control, and we'll go to Control Panel. If you're not seeing this view, if you're seeing Category, just come here and choose Large Icon. What we want is Administrative Tools. From there, we'll go to Computer Management. Double click that. Then we'll come to disk management. Single click that. And then you should get this initialize disk pop up. Now we can choose MBR or GPT. I'm going to highly suggest you choose GPT unless you have some super old system. You can choose MBR if you want, but GPT is more modern. So we'll click OK. That's going to initialize the disk. Now we're still not going to see it uh, here because we haven't formatted it yet. We haven't given it a, uh, a drive letter. So what we can do is come over here to disk two, make sure it's the correct one. Don't choose you know, anything that's already been formatted. All right, nice black line so we know it's unallocated. We know we need to format this. We can right click right on the drive. Just go new simple volume, go next. You can leave all this just as it is to utilize the full space in that partition. Next, now we can assign a drive letter. You can always change this drive letter later on. We'll just give this We'll say H for now. Again, we can always change it later. Don't worry about any of this stuff here. We go ahead and go to next. Since we're on Windows, we want NTFS. You could do XFAT, but more than likely you'll want NTFS. For the allocation unit size, leave it as default. Volume label, you can name your hard drive whatever you want. Let's just call this SSD Gold. We can always change the name later on. Now we can perform a quick format. If we untick that, it will be a full format, which will check every single sector. You probably don't need to do that on an SSD. I do that on my uh, hard disk drives, but I don't do that on my SSD. So just do perform quick format, leave enable file and folder compression, leave that unchecked, my opinion there. Go ahead and hit next here and we'll finish. It's gonna format, it's not going to take that long. And there we go. Now you can see that's called SSD gold. Uh, the drive letter is H, come to this PC, and guess what? There is your new SSD hard drive installed, set up, formatted, set up and ready to go. So we can close that down, close that down, close all of this down. And of course we can use it. Copy a file over here. There we go. Awesome. So now it's set up and ready to go. Again, we can always change that name if we want. Just coming here to the drive, right click and rename it. And you can type in any name that you want. So that is how you install, format, and set up your new solid state drive.